I am a fully grown adult woman. I have an opportunity to do something here, so I have to do everything in my power to make that difference. On Saturday, Aaron Fletcher and Emily Kelsall threw maple syrup on Emily Carr's Stumps and Skies painting at the Vancouver Art Gallery. They want the government to stop investing in fossil fuel projects like the Coastal Gas Link Pipeline. We're trying to get the government's attention because the climate crisis affects everyone. It is it is going to cause permanent and irreversible damage to the planet. No new fossil fuel projects if we want to be serious about the climate emergency. And all of our futures are on the line. Plants are going to die, trees are going to die, the ocean is going to acidify. It's not going to be a pleasant world to live in. And what's scary is we have an opportunity to make a difference. In a press release, the Vancouver Art Gallery says staff believes there will be no permanent damage to the artwork. And the Association of Art Museum Directors says they have always been clear that attacks on work of art cannot be justified, whether the motivations are political, religious, or cultural. Such protests are misdirected and the ends do not justify the means. Civil disobedience is, it is an act of political communication. It is a way to say, I'm so concerned about this, this policy or the lack of policies in this case that I'm willing to engage in an illegal act to get my, get my message across. There is a risk of aggravating the people that they need to convince because especially in a democracy, action is going to turn on having broad support from the public. Political science professor Catherine Harrison says she understands the concerns people have with climate change. Our society, our economy runs on fossil fuels. It's currently how many people heat their homes. It's, you know, how our transportation system works. I think the message that activists are trying to convey is that we need to be, we need to be more ambitious, we need to act with greater urgency to transition away from fossil fuels. In a statement to City News, the Ministry of Climate Change Strategy says they are committed to taking the actions necessary to meet our emissions goal through Clean BC, roadmap to 2030, one of the most comprehensive climate plans in North America. Since the incident, Kel Saul says she's been receiving hate mail and threats, and she says she has this message for the government. Act. You need to act. This isn't a game. It is so easy to just sink into the present and just forget that the climate crisis is barreling towards us at full speed. But the time is now. The Vancouver Police Department is actively investigating this incident. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.